Hey, 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 guys, Vacomodo Crypto here. And we have here Bitcoin. This is one hour chart, Bitstamp. I've changed my account a little bit. If you, if you, if you have watched my last video, this the third wave was here and I was assuming a fifth wave here that would be kind of a truncated, but actually not so. But we wouldn't have a, a, a clear five waves going down here. So then the market forced me to understand it and uh, I changed my account. So this is my primary account, okay? I'm not, I'm not, uh, I, I would consider this count here, if we go above it, okay, if we follow this green line here, this this arrow here if we break above it this this symmetrical triangle here if we break to the upside and break this trend line here of course we would assume that we have finished the fifth wave here and then this would be one two and then it would have a three four five and it would have to this fourth wave here okay but uh it's this triangle here is pretty um it's pretty clear for me, right? So this is the fourth wave here, okay, of the, the of this correction, one, two, three, fourth wave here, and then five waves here, and the fifth wave here going down here, probably touching the median line again, okay? We touch it here, okay? And now, who knows, right? We are probably gonna touch it here again. Um, so, uh, we have this Elliott wave triangle, A, B, C, D, E, in the fourth wave, okay? It's pretty common to have a triangle in a fourth wave. And one more additional data is that the fourth wave of this, of this degree here, of this uh, higher degree here, has retraced to this, the f of this, to this fourth wave region here of this, uh, the third would be here actually. Uh, to the fourth wave of this, uh, this one, two, three, four, five here. You see, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is another rule for Elliott wave. Okay, the fourth wave of a of a, a, a higher degree retraces to the fourth degree of a lower degree. It's normal. Okay, so we have we trace to this region here. Of course, we have a cluster here, and this is kind of a, a a b in the kind of a triangle again to finish this in a three it's pretty difficult to count this pretty difficult to assume that we have a fifth wave here for the third but it's better than assuming that we have a fifth wave here of a higher degree okay this is this is not only me okay but uh, some other analysts uh, who use uh, Elliott wave they are having problems as well okay but we hit the median line here which gives me a lot of confidence that this is a third wave okay but this is in this count here however the third wave of this wave here so we have a one two let me mark it let me show you guys what I'm talking about this is the one two the third fourth wave and the fifth let me just so micro nope actually i need to actually i need to put the, this the other one uh, uh micro yes something like this okay this is we have a one two okay so one two one two okay one two one two then three hit the median line fourth wave here of this lower degree fifth wave here then we have the third then this fourth wave, this fourth wave here that we are in now, is of a higher degree than this one, but it's retracing to the previous uh, fourth wave of the lower degree count. Okay, this is a rule. This is a pretty interesting rule, and uh, we need to to pay attention at it. That's why I I changed my count, and uh, I think this is gonna break to the downside. Okay, this it, we are gonna try to get to this median line again okay and again um <clears throat> this is an abc this is this whole structure here that we have uh, since december start it's uh 
it's a correction of this uh, no no pardon me this uh, it's a correction of this third wave yes of this third wave which we have here okay this is the daily chart bit stamp remember this is my primary count we have the third wave here which we have it here okay in purple we have it here the third then we have this abc this huge correction needs to be uh needs to be deeper and uh, and uh, and uh, sideways because we had such a a shallow wave too okay if we have such a shallow wave too that's a, it's difficult even to count this structure here we need to have a, a fourth wave that is 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 longer in time and it's deeper then i'm, I'm assuming that we are now we're finishing the b wave here to go up Okay, then we would again go down to seek, uh, oopsie, sorry, we would seek new a new low, okay, that's it. Um, and uh, don't forget that we have in the weekly chart, we have that engulfing candle here, huge candle, now we are having a hammer, so remember those, those two, I have pointed out this is another bearish cross okay so we are within the 200 EMA and the 200 standard moving average what we are in between those two two indicators here and uh, we can either break up or down but this is gonna be significant I think in my, uh, based upon the Elliott wave count and and the, the algo targets that I have drawn and I have explained to you guys in other videos. Um, I think that we're gonna break to the downside and I'm gonna challenge this standard moving average again. Okay. Um, so this is my, and this is what I have for now. Okay, if we break this red line here, okay, we are gonna seek those algo targets here. Man, minus 33, 60%, minus 38, 20%. This would imply 32, 32, 3200, right? 32, 50, uh, 32, okay? We might even have a double bottom here. We don't know yet, okay? I marked it here. We might have a double bottom. This is okay for a B wave. To be really a deep B wave, we would have a kind of a flat, and then it would go up. Okay, and here on the error side shows that we don't have a lot, a lot, of, a lot of space to continue traveling here, and we are below the 50 error side here, which shows a, uh, which, which is another bearish sign. If we just turn on here the, the standard, the exponential moving averages, what we see is that we are below all the moving averages. They are offering. Here is the 21, the blue one, here is the 21 EMA, it's offering a resistance. The 55 EMA is offering a resistance. And then we have the 100 and the 200. We have all those EMAs offering resistance. So I think that they are kind of a pressuring, the, the uh, kind of a forcing the price down, okay? See the those weeks here? They are trying to get to the 200 EMA, we broke, the 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 we, when we try to broke it what we have here resistance at the 200 ma this one even this one didn't even touch the 200 ma and then we have this bearish cross this was a a bullish cross but just just turned into a bearish cross here the 55 and 21 ma okay uh, so what what i see is bearish signs okay and moreover if we look at uh, if you look at ethereum for instance we have the same thing okay we have a triangle and ethereum is breaking the, the triangle to the downside and what i have observed is that the the altcoins they tend to 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 predict i, I wouldn't like yes to predict the movement that bitcoin is gonna do even though we have we had this reaction to the downside we are now kind of we have stopped here you know? we are we are not really moving 
this is 30 minutes and I also think that we are gonna hit is, is the same thing we have a B wave here or a second wave okay I don't know we need to to see if we can, if we can sustain this low here if we break below this low here okay then uh, any kind of bullish count you may propose is invalidated okay um, what I am assuming is that we have either here a B wave okay or a second wave but doesn't matter because after this B wave here we are gonna go up okay and if we break with confidence the area of this a wave here and go really above it i don't know this is where i marked the c wave here where we would have a fourth wave you see it's the same thing as we have that we have for bitcoin okay if we go above it I we would have a third wave you see here that's this is this is this is for the future okay this is only speculation because we need to solve this problem here first we need to solve it here to see where we stop and how we go above it how we, 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 we if we are to break to the downside here and hit this algo target here okay this one here we are going to the upside and then who knows right we might have a correction or we might have a trend reversal this might be a second wave and we would go to really higher targets okay but the but ethereum is the same thing okay it's the very same thing we are in a triangle waiting for confirmation waiting to break down and we have here some targets okay and litecoin where is litecoin litecoin is pretty much the same right we are actually we break really nicely down so i wouldn't count it as an abcde I would count it's an A B, and then a, a A B C. I don't know A B C. I would start counting this as a one, two, three. We definitely broke out of the structure. If we were forming some kind of triangle, it's invalidated now. What we have is the structure above here, this trend line here. Okay, offering a. a a clear resistance we might uh, let me just turn on the magnet um, I don't know if I want to put the wicks I don't like because we have such a low volume yes something like this perhaps a bit like this not the perfect not the, the best one I, I would put it here better yeah. okay and we have as well a, a line forming here but we have just two points here a trend line forming here but it's definitely not an ABCDE here okay but again if you were forming some kind of triangle here it's invalidated for Litecoin okay and again I think that we might see another leg going up for Litecoin because where is the where is the let me measure the retracement okay we have if if you are considering this um a second wave instead of a correction if this is one okay let me just zoom this thing out if this is a one okay remember same thing the same ending diagonal here that we have for bitcoin okay here we have for uh for litecoin this might be the third wave this might be whatever Okay, then we form this nice channel here, which I marked here, the channel, just the bottom part of the channel, and then we broke it here. If this is a one, this is the first wave of a, of a motive impulse wave, we would need to have a A, B, C, we would finish it here. We stopped the we stopped going down exactly at the 61865, okay, the golden zone. This is this is significant, okay? So it's not impossible that we go above it, that we just break. This is the end of the A wave, 
then we would have a, some kind of a B wave here going up. So A, B, C, B, and then a C going down. Would need to get at least to 786 or deeper, or deeper levels, okay? Or retrace a bit more, okay? Um, so from this, uh, from the highest point to the lowest point, here is the lowest. Okay, uh, sorry, let me see the second wave here. I, I would like to see how much it has retraced. Okay, we have retraced for the fourth wave here. We have retraced 23.60% for a fourth wave. So if this is a fourth wave, hmm, it's kind of interesting because it would be drawing a different thing here uh, it would have a different story because we would have an a this would be a b and a c i would expect it would be natural to expect what another leg up for litecoin okay why because this is um let me just zoom this thing out zoom in sorry no this is this is what we see right we have an A there, then uh, not a clear A. I I know it's really difficult to count it. Here we have a kind of a B, and then we'll have a C retracing to this 38, 20 percent at least. Okay, if this is a B and it's finished, okay. If this is an alternate count because I think that everything is going down. I don't think that it's gonna go up. Mm, this is what we have it's a really nice confluence exactly 127 20 percent here is the, the the sweet spot for for a C wave okay so we might touch it here touch it here and then we would have a B wave here going up yeah it's pretty we would finish this B wave here no oh, I'm sorry let me remove this thing because it's confusing me and I think it's confusing you guys because we are yet to finish the higher degree correction we, we haven't finished this fifth wave so we would go we would first go up to finish this fourth wave um, going to 35 35 bucks 34 something bucks to retrace 38 20 percent and then we would go down so this is this would be a different scenario but we might have a flat somehow I want you so this might be the third this might be the fourth wave here as well okay where is my fourth this is the four might be the fourth wave here okay one two three so ABC here fourth wave and then would we'll be starting one two one two three four five it would finish the fifth wave so you see guys we have the elbow target here but we haven't hit the 50 percent here so it's um, it's kind of a, a difficult count indeed hmm. and uh, and as i said we have we we have hit the 618 here and we react so are we gonna touch it and are we gonna break if we break this line here if we break the 618 we would go to the downside certain it's certain because this is offering a resistance now and we have a cluster here you see it's it's a pivot low here so i would assume that this would be a nice place to put your stop stop law your stop for short you, you enter only upon breaking a little bit below it like 30 bucks and then we would go down but it's a it's not a good play because you would be risking a lot you see you would be risking a lot you would need to because this might be a flat it might go uh, we might have a b that goes really deep and then would go up again uh, so if this is an ABC, okay, if we haven't finished the fourth wave here, we don't know. This might be an ABC, like I said, if we have a, another leg up, 
or this might be a fourth wave here finished and then we are going down let me check the second wave yeah hmm. it would be a nice thing if we have a fourth wave here because we have would have a sideways a, a longer fourth wave relative to the second wave here that was pretty fast pretty sh uh, shallow not really shallow but fast but sharp okay <clears throat> I think that's it guys um, for Litecoin I don't, we don't have the triangle we, we don't have really the triangle but we have those two different scenarios okay they are both possible I need that if we break this blue trend line here it's uh, it's obvious if you break above uh, 32 again we try to break again it would break I think if we break a uh, this 30, 23 60 percent this would be 32 3200 no 32 buck 32 bucks 80 hundred <laughs> 32 bucks 800 we would if you break through it then I would try to get to this C wave here this fourth wave would be here okay but don't forget okay that fourth wave might be here oopsie no the fourth wave might be here and we might be going down anyway okay following Bitcoin so uh, that's it guys thank you very much for watching me and if you haven't subscribed please give me a, a thumbs up and subscribe and follow me on Twitter and join us in our crypto trader educational Institute the link is down below Thank you very much and wait for this breakout because it's going to be a nice movement and if you have questions you can always ask me here or in my Discord group or on the Twitter, okay? Thank you very much, have a great week and we see each other next one. Bye bye, cheers!